Oh. All right. Peace. But, right. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Um, but you just uh, play as, is it just Grimes? Uh, Frank use? Grimes. Just Frank Grimes? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's a uh, it's Simpsons reference. Um, <laughs> there was like one character on there. His name was Frank Grimes. He ends up dying on the episode. He's just, like bitter, pissed off at the world and everything because nothing's working for him. But he wears <laughs> glasses. He kind of looks like me. I got it because, you know, I, I thought of it, you know, I'm like the hugest Simpsons dork in the world, uh, you know. So um, it just kind of worked because Frank, Frank Grimes. And then I play a lot of like grimy, dirty jungle and drum and bass. So it just kind of fit yeah. until Matt Groening decides to sue me. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> really? No. Oh, wait, no, no, I would tell. Oh, no, sorry. Until no, you tell no, you decides no, to. No, the name. You know. Right. Uh, right. Sorry. I don't know. Well, I, a, I, 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 it's doubtful. I mean, I'll just, right. You know, put a Y in there instead or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I started watching The Simpsons when it was still like thirty minute or or thirty second clips on the Tracy Ullman yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. I remember those. Yeah. And I and you know I recently just went back and started watching those and I was like, why did I like it back then? Those were really stupid. Oh yeah, they're bad. They're really but, bad. I mean, I still you know it was the start <laughs> of something that was great. I think. Yeah. You know I mean, um, I don't know what the deal is, but I can't find those anymore anywhere. Like I don't know why they haven't been out released guess, somewhere. But you know, I gotta find where I found those. I'll send you some links if I can figure it out again because I was watching them not that long ago. And I was like, man, I just remember these being so much better. Oh, no, they're horrible. <laughs> like, the voices are all different. They're just drawn, like, badly. Uh, you know, but it's it's weird to look at them from, like, 25 years ago or 20 years ago or however long to... How long is it? It's been, what, 25, yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah, and how many episodes now? I mean, Jeez. good God, I don't know. I just <laughs> watched one, I think it was last Sunday for the first time that I'd seen in a while. Really? Yeah, messed around. I still love them. I still watch Yeah, them. it cracked me up. I thought, why did I ever quit watching this? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Life happens. You yeah. Miss, you know, it's like, I feel like it's my duty. I have to like make sure to watch even like the reruns or something in case they decide to take them off the air and then it'll be all my fault because I didn't watch it enough or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sucks when you have a good show and they just plummet because everybody's watching American Idol or whatever. Right. Like I don't know Kardashians who you know, but... or... <laughs> No, there's an, like Simon Cowles was talking about doing a DJ one, right? Like really? Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That would be horrible. Can yeah. we Maybe. make know, another Stevie but... Oki? That'd be great. Or <laughs> more Tiestas in the world? Wow. Is that what we need? I don't know how it'll work. <laughs> I remember hearing that rumor. I, Maybe, I hope I mean, that's what that is. I hope that's just, just a rumor. Yeah. Oh man, an ugly, ugly rumor. We don't want the bros to get a hold of it yet. There we oh, go. No. Yeah. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <awful>. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, well, how long have you been doing this? Uh, like, uh, started in 99, um, okay. DJing on um, just some crappy old turntables. I found one at a pawn shop and another one a friend sold me. I, uh, I was sitting in the back of my buddy's van one day. We were at the river just camping out and whatnot, and I was listening to some new CD my buddy had put in, and it was some jungle music. It was uh, a Metalhead CD, and I was just like, oh, my God, this music is awesome. You know, it was the drums. They just, the the, the rolling, the, the amen breaks, just all the, I don't know. It was the drums that brought me in. I'm, I was a drummer. <laughs> oh, okay. Started out, uh, you know, playing, like, punk bands and stuff, and... uh Always just like, you know, interesting drums. And then those were real, just real tribal sound. just kind of made yeah. me just, oh my God, I love this stuff, you know. Decided that I was uh, going to start DJing. It took me a couple of years to like get the money. <laughs> and like yeah. the equipment, you know, it was, it was so expensive. I finally settled on just some crappy old tables and started there. So that was like 99. So uh, just, you know, since then been jung jungle drum and bass. So. <laughs> nice. Still yeah. doing jungle and drum and bass. That's uh, that's all I really like. Even enjoy playing. Um, I played some dubstep for a little bit, maybe like six month period. You know, I'd play that here and there. Um, I got that occasional like urge down in my basement to play some old speed garage or some house music. You know, just get kind of different. You know, maybe to break away from it. Like, oh my god, I'm tired of listening to all this right now. 
Yeah, do something different. Mm -hmm. But those house guys, they do it so much better than me, you know, so I, I figure I'll let those guys <laughs> have that, you know. Uh, it's not that I it's not that I don't like it. I just, you know, it's what I love, what I feel, like what I know to play. Yeah. And uh you got to go with your personality on it, you know. Yeah. I figure everybody's got, you know, everyone's going to do their thing and so Right. That's just my thing. So so are you still on vinyl? Uh yeah, vinyl. I also use Tractor. Um so it's kind of a, you know, both, well, Tractor, I use, you know, it's the wave files and stuff, but it's still on a vinyl control. Yeah. Uh, wave files are a lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I know that sounds bad, you know, but I mean, I, I, I... They don't weigh as much. Right. No, yeah, I, I can fit my whole collection in my pocket now, you know, but... Right. Uh, I mean, that's a convenient thing because I still haul out the turntables and stuff uh, when I play. Well, whenever I play gigs, that you know, I got to haul out my own stuff. That stuff's heavy, you know, and then you add a couple of crates of vinyl to it. Throwing sure out your back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, you know, I got a, I got a, I got a bad back. I got a bad wrist. It's just everything. It's like anyways, every so musician in DJ I know. Like, yeah. yeah, something. <laughs> my back, my knees, my wrists. Right. Yeah, it's something like jacked. that. <laughs> well, I picked all the fun things. You know, I played soccer as a kid. I like skated for like ten years of my life. You know, um, skateboard. You know, and every injury. Of course, you know your knees and feet and every yeah. bone is gonna hurt. But you know. That's that's the way it is. So you have to do it while <clears throat> while you could. Because now when you get hurt, it's worse. Yeah. Like, right. Oh no, no. When I was uh, nineteen and I dislocated my shoulder skateboarding, I was Ooh. like, you know, I'm not Tony Hawk. I mean, I can kind of ride a skateboard. <laughs> I could do a couple of tricks, you know. But I'll never be that. So there's no reason to hurt myself like that for this. You know, right. I'll find something else to do. <laughs> it's a dangerous sport, really. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, no, it is. I mean, yeah, for sure. my gosh. But even so, it was I remember in the tw in my twenties and stuff, everybody was like, "Well, you're gonna feel it when you're older," and I'm like, "Yeah, well, like when I'm 50, right? You know, <laughs> no, I didn't realize when I was 30, you know, yeah. And now I'm mm -hmm. like 36, going, I'm just an old man. Like <laughs> I feel everything, right? Oh my God, the wind just blows just right, and my back hurts. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, I'm it's also <laughs> also a lot colder now. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm always cold. Yeah. Uh, have you always lived in Tulsa or? Uh, no, I actually, I grew up in Moore. Okay. Um, then, uh, moved that to Dallas for a while and then up here, you know? Okay. Well, I lived in Amarillo briefly, but Amarillo. Did yeah, you get I into know. it, uh, into DJing when you were in Dallas? No, actually it was, uh, here, um, up in Tulsa. I, uh, when I lived in Dallas, I was still, you know, like punk rocker, you know, all that. And then I moved up here like my last year of high school and, uh, yeah, you know, we started a couple of punk bands. I was in like three at a time, three at like one time. And, yeah. you know, I was like, man, I want to play as much as I can. And then the scene kind of died out or it just went a different way. Like not what I was really enjoying. So I kind of ducked out for a while and then jungle came along right about that same time. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I was here in Tulsa when I started um, doing that. So, I mean, I've been, it's like I've grown up here, you know, that's been, like growing up in a second life here, you know, I guess, yeah. you know, like the, the other part, you know, so. How do you feel about the, uh, the jungle drum and bass scene in Tulsa? It's not really, there's not a whole big scene, not like it used to be. It's not a big one. There's, you know, there's definitely like the dedicated ones and the ones that, um, have been around. I would like to grow that scene. Yeah. I mean, I think that, um, a lot of people kind of tend to look over it. You know, some people look at you like, Oh, you play drum and bass, you know, it's kind of like I'm playing like kid music or something, you know, but it's, or, you know, that's the kind of look I feel like I'm getting Yeah, not from everybody, but, um, you know, there's like a whole lot of new people out there, a new generation of like these kids mm -hmm. coming out and I'm hoping to, you know, at least plant some more seeds, you know, little bits here and there, yeah. make it grow. Um, it's ebbed and flowed, you know, it's like been high, it's been low. There was uh, about a year and a half ago whenever we started playing out at the Yeti. Um, I mean, it was like this new, it was like uh, drum and bass had gone into hibernation for a while or something. And then like it's back again and everybody's like, oh, oh wow, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it's making a comeback because um, I can see more and more people like talking about, oh, they're, they're going to be playing some drum and bass here or there and. Um, I've actually, excuse me, had a lot of more, a lot more people like asking me to come play, 
you know, some side I'm like, you know, I'm playing jungle, right? That's that's what I'm gonna do. And right. Like, no, yeah, come play what you want to play. Um, I got to play uh, with this band, um, Heavy Jones. They're kind of like a jam band, and uh, I've played with them a few times. Like, um, I'll open, I'll play like a set for about an hour, and then they'll just kind of come in and start playing along with me. Really. And then they play, and then I kind of duck out for a while, or I'll come in and I'll, you know, like scratch. A little. I'm not a I'm not a great scratch <laughs> DJ, but you know, it's like, uh, you know, watching them and the way it just kind of jammed together, it made me uh, want to get it. You know, it's like try something new here in yeah. public. So it's like that. Actually, like having played with them has gotten me to uh, experiment. You know, a little bit more. Uh, yeah. You know, with uh, whenever I'm playing, just like sets at it, like the club or whatever. So. Um, so they mix into what you're playing. Yeah, they uh, like then... the drummer will pick up the beat. Then or the guitar. Whenever you kinda, come back, do you like mix into what they're playing? I'll try to. Yeah, I mean, That's I generally like sweet. you know we, we really kind cool. of. That'd be cool. That cat ball, dude. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <Way> <laughs> no, to yeah, we. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, we do that. So I mean, I, I I like the idea of playing with like you know the band and you know, it's cool that we've got that cross. Uh, crossbreeding kind of thing going on you know yeah we definitely. got like the jam band thing going and then some electronic music even the fact that they wanted me to play some drum and bass you know because the guy had come and seen us play for a while and like you know he was a friend with another friend of mine and he's just like hey you want to come jam sometime and i was like yeah i guess i'll come try it right. <laughs> you know, i was nervous you know i mean it wasn't that i didn't want to it was just like you know this is something new and so we got that going, and it's pretty cool. So huh, that's really cool. I like that uh, the idea of that. I do too. Where do you guys do that when you play usually? Um, I did it at the Yeti one night, and I did it at the first shop another night. I've only played with them twice, um, but this is just a real recent development over the past like month and a half or so that um, this cool. has been transpiring. That's what's the cool. what's the name of the band again? Uh, Heavy Jones. Heavy Jones. Yeah. Okay, I've heard that name. I have too. <laughs> yeah. And they, you know they do like yeah. uh, a lot of they play out of like the uh, the dirty knuckle like once a week I believe and um, okay. you know just like they've got a lot going on they're like all, all over like uh, a lot more events happening lately so hmm. so you still playing drums too uh, not so much um, I uh, I was never like great at playing it I could play punk it's easy you play fast and just like right. you know <laughs> you know uh, and then you know I would try to um, you know, slow it down and get a little more, my, my arms and legs don't want to do what my brain tells them to do. It's like, I hear it in my head, but I can't translate it very well. So, right. you know, programming drums is like, you know, my next, cause like I can, I can get it right there. I mean, I'll, I'll play it once in a while. Um, I've got an electronic kit like hooked up MIDI to my computer. So I'll run it through whatever DAW I'm using like reason or, uh, you know, uh, the studio one or logic or whatever, you know, and I'll just have that MIDI kit and I'll, I'll just sit and jam. That's cool. You know, and sometimes I'll record it. Sometimes I'll come up with a good beat and then just go back in and, you know, maybe just tighten it up a little bit, but it's really good for jamming and getting like good ideas. So I kind of played and just not great. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it, I, I do the same thing. Jam it. Yeah. Program it. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes it turns out like, okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you, need jam it, program you need a t-shirt it. that says that, <laughs> that, that jam that, it that program it you sell a million sh- I'm gonna write that down because I'll forget it and I'm gonna make that happen well I'm glad we recorded it on a podcast oh so. there's that yeah. fucker yeah. <laughs> TN <laughs> Copy, copyright copyright yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't steal that idea January Look, I'm still 18, writing it down though like, wait a minute I now forgot it <laughs> jam know. it program yeah. it oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that means I'd have to listen back to it to get the information. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't want to listen to the podcast. Live. I'm doing it live. Right. I like how you forgot it so fast. I know. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it must really be good. So yeah. brilliant, I already forgot it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me get my phone. What was it? Yeah, yeah hold on a minute. This is going to be funny, guys. Wait till I read this to you. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. If you read half oh. the notes in my phone, you would wonder. Oh, I wonder anyways. So like, I mean, where did that come from? I don't even know. I look at mine and just, did I write that while I was drunk? I mean, I mean, of yeah. course I did, but 
surely it made sense at some point. Yeah, it had to mean something. And then I look at the date and the time stamp, I'm like, whoa. We're in a dicey period. I don't know what was going on then. And then there's some that's idea, just like... It had to be funny when it happened. One o'clock on a Wednesday and you still don't understand it. And it's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I get those a lot, too. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, we, uh, before we actually started recording the podcast, we were talking about different dolls and stuff like that. So, uh, besides performing, are you doing production work? Are you creating your own tracks too? Um, or? A little bit. Um, trying. Um, I've been DJing a lot more, like playing that and time, having a whole lot of time to write, to like write music. And then video games get, get in the way sometimes. And uh, I'm just making excuses, you know. Right, I, right, I, right. Uh, I got some new hardware and I'm working on that. Um, each time I, you know, I've got a couple tunes that I feel are good. You know, they're not drum and bass. I don't really write drum and bass very well. <laughs> a lot of down tempo type of stuff. Um, Portishead's like a big influence there, you know. Yeah. Uh, also, there was this other band I saw at this festival one time. It was just like two dudes. It was a drummer and a guy on a guitar playing with a MIDI controller at the same time and just making this really awesome noise that was this beautiful music and i was like man i could totally do that and it was kind of just like a weird trippy kind of down tempo thing and that's huh. kind of what i feel better like working on you know um got a couple of tunes that i'm working on with like a buddy of mine right now but it's like his mine you know yeah hoping to get some stuff out in the next like couple of months but uh I'm I'm really slow on the production <laughs> kind of yeah. like the beastie boys you know it take like 10 years to release an <laughs> album or something yeah yeah, it's just, it's just so there's so much to the, all this dolls too. I mean, it's something that you'd almost have to study for years just to really understand it and how to use it half the time. Well, man, it's um. Don't you feel that way? You give me a funny look. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was looking at me because I was looking at him because he was I'm, swinging I'm his mic. Swinging my mic. <laughs> so, anyways, I was. <laughs> <laughs> what was know. that? I don't know. <laughs> but no i mean it, that's what it was too because i've been trying to focus on um you know, creating original tracks and stuff i mean that was kind of the point why i wanted to get into it right but, um but it is something that you just have to commit a certain amount of time and keep with it oh yeah you know because i'll go through like a few months where i'm like just doing it all the time and then i'll stop yeah and i'll be like six months later going oh shit yeah that's go exactly back it. to it and i've lost half what i learned and it's like getting back into it and it's so much to learn and i think i just get really frustrated and I get to the point where I just feel like I, I'm not sure I can do this. And I started kind of making excuses and doing it less and less. And it's just a big problem. <clears throat> I have, um, I like to finish something. If I start it, I want to finish it. Yeah. And like, I want to finish it in that setting. So I'll sit there for like <laughs> wow. six, seven, eight hours, you know, and I'll be <laughs> like, man, there's no way I'm going to finish this. And then like, it's like the start of an awesome project, but like I, you know, you have your uh, process and you know exactly what you're thinking and you know what you want this whole song to do. And like, you're just trying to make it happen like right then when you're sitting there and then like I, I get up and I have to go to bed or, you know, it's like yeah. I have to go to work or something. And then like, I come back the next day and I'm like, okay, now where was I? S new project, you know, yeah. it's like, I, I, if I can't get it finished, then I don't feel like, I can come back to it. Um, of course, that's kind of like rushing the project. You know, you don't end up with the best. At least I want to try to get like the idea down, like the like the song laid out. I can go back in and like uh, polish it or whatever later, and yeah. which I which I do once I if I've got it all laid out and I'm like okay, I like that melody, I like this here, the drums there, all of it placed. Um, then I can go back in and master it and then finish it out, and then I've got a song. But um, I very rarely ever have like 10 hours to just sit yeah. and, you know. I'll mess with mine a little bit. And then by the end of it, I'm, I'll just look at it and go, I don't know what the hell I was doing. And just hope that another day I can listen back to it and go, oh no, but I could do this with it. And right. like make something out of it, you know. <laughs> Sometimes bad. I just feel like I'm riffing, you know, just coming up with <laughs> yeah. ideas and going, oh, I don't know what that was. Go to the next one and do a whole <laughs> bunch of ideas and then come back later to try to make something <laughs> out of them. So I've got like hundreds of ideas that I haven't done shit to, with, but no, I have gone back occasionally and like found stuff like uh, little ideas, like little synth lines or whatever. And I'm like, oh, that was great. Let's take that and bring that into, um, you know, this track that I'm working on now. And then you know, hey, those work well together. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, so having the back catalog and being able to have them all just there is really great because you're like, oh well, I don't know where to go with this, but surely there was something I had before maybe you know yeah or, or if i'm just having a day where i, I have 
just can't get the creative juices flowing i'll grab an old idea and start building on it and kind of yeah. kind of gives me a jump start some days <laughs> man i'll sit some there days. for so so long sometimes and then i'll find an old project that i liked and take it somewhere else and the next thing you know i've just started something completely different and right add is uh it's like musical add i guess you know huh? um Mine's more like musical Tourette's, but, you know, <laughs> I'm hoping one day it'll turn into something else. <laughs> 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 it's like just one, one off guitar strokes really loud. <laughs> it's just random ideas that made sense to me at one time. It's like, it's like pretty much your notes, you know, Melanie, right? that you were talking yeah. about. That's how my songs generally go. I usually listen back and go, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Half the time, like before I learned about self containing <clears throat> a song in Reason, you know, mm-hmm. like oh, yeah. where this file actually keeps the samples with it. Um, you know, I'd go back to even old songs from when I first started Reason. I, I can't open those anymore because my samples are long gone <laughs> yeah, yeah. for those. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's probably better off. You know, I don't want to go back and just, oh, God, what was I thinking? Man? Yeah. I, don't know. I spent like, mm-hmm. you can see where I spent, like, because I'll have like track. You know, track one, track two, track three. It's all like the same one, but it was just like little iterations. It would get down to like the twentieth version of it, and like you listen to all of them, and you're like, "Why did I make that many copies?" Because like the only thing that probably changed was like turning up the hi hats a little bit, or just like the smallest little change. But <laughs> and it's a whole yeah. new save file. Yeah, I yeah. create I create multiple copies because you never I, know. I work like, with some guys that do that, and I, it's. I get it. I totally get it. Right. But at the same time, it's like, unless there's a reason for us creating the new save file, like I just save it over top of what's there. Like everything, well, yeah. everything's still there. Well, you know? if I've changed like the synth drastically or something like that. Yeah. Right. It, I it's a different kinda, version. Yeah, you know. Like I definitely do different ones for like, okay, this is what we built the loop on. Right. Save that one as that. And then like, uh, do another one for if we're rewiring anything. Yeah. Cause you might have to change plugs. And right. then if you're starting the mix, that should be a new one or, uh, like li- different things like that, but I, I don't want too many. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't need four hundred of beat number five. No, no. <laughs> I've uh, I've gotten less. Uh, Why not? <laughs> I've gotten less strict about that rule <clears throat> lately. Um, only if it's like the biggest biggest change. Like if my and I've it's actually saved my ass a few times. I've like changed that synthesizer so much, and then I can't get it right back to where it was, and it's. Yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> but well, that makes sense then. <laughs> I guess. Oh no, it's good practice. I, I just I, I don't do it the same. We I end up with too many files if I do it that way. Hmm? That also makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. What do you think, Melanie? What's is the, what's the correct way? Um, I wouldn't have a clue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Just look at her notes. Do whatever it works holds for the you. Answer somewhere yeah, it, I got it. I've got it. In my notes right here. <laughs> yeah, the answers to through. every unanswered question. Forty-two. Yeah, you want to know what it? You yeah. wanna, what it is? <laughs> we'll do this after the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a fun game to play. Uh, well, when you uh, sit down here to write one, what's your process? What do you like? How do you start? What do you? I uh, <clears throat> I generally I'll uh. <laughs> I'll uh, open it up and it's uh, my drums. I, I work on the drums first. I think that may still be the drummer in me. Yeah. But I also like to have like a basis of uh, something. So occasionally I'll like break out a synthesizer and I'll just like make it really good. And then I'm like, man, I got to hear what some drums will sound like behind that. And then I get sidetracked. It's the drums I start with. Sometimes I'll have a melody going in my head. Um, it's usually it's you know it's 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 always a different process. I mean, generally yeah. drums. I want to get my drums, but then I spend like thirty, forty minutes just like finding some good drums, uh, good good drum samples, you know, and then uh, yeah. making them all good together, mixed together. God, man, I can't talk. No. <laughs> it's all right. Neither I never can. can, can so yeah. it's, all, it's all good. <laughs> um, you know, it starts with the drums, of course, and then um, you know, generally a bass line. Maybe I'll find a synthesizer with just like a nice little like background kind of a pad, just something nice and melodic or pretty. Because, um, like I said, it's generally not drum and bass that I'm working on. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, I, I, I mix it. I love the hell out of it, but just writing it, I don't feel like I do it justice. But I, I like, you know, just some down tempo. I turn it, let it go. 
and just kind of play. I'll have my keyboard out and just kind of just play with the notes here and there, you know, like, oh, I don't like that melody. I mean, yeah. I have like the basic, basic knowledge of like uh, music theory. And <laughs> like, you know, I know the notes on the keyboard and I know like some chords don't sound great together and which yeah. ones what, you know, but generally it's just kind of <laughs> like hammer it out and play. I'll hit record and just let it go. Yeah. And then, um, because once I got a drum loop, I'll just let that loop and just play with the ideas and um, spend about an hour looking for samples and decide that I'll just make another synthesizer or something. Right, know? yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, it just kind of uh, depends. It's a pretty solitary thing. I don't. I, I try to work with some other people, but um, it never uh, blends well because like you were saying earlier, it's like... Uh, you know, one person clicking, the other person falling asleep and stuff. So yeah. occasionally it blends well, but most of the time it's just by myself. Just Well, in the same is too, it's just like being in a band, like you have to have matching personalities yeah. or in just non-conflicting personalities. And it, it, it's sometimes hard to find somebody you can work with musically. You know? I got, I got, uh, one, my, my one buddy, uh, Jason flesh and I like, uh, we we can work well together. Um, you know, we'll just be zoned out because well, we've got it set up now to where his his computer's there, my computer's there. We've each got our own thing. Where he'll like work on some synths, and I'll play some drums or mix up some drums for him, or uh, vice versa. That's about the only guy that like I've worked with that it, where it just does go. Um, yeah. But until we got like our two computers together, um, it was that just you know, this is boring. I don't know. Then you feel like the other guy is like sitting there watching and judging everything you're doing. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, dude, no, I don't want to. No, no, dude, right. just, just go away for a minute, you know? Um, I hate hovering. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just can put that out there. But then you see, this is the thing is like, he's not. He's over there doing his own thing or whatever, you know? You just feel like, like that's what's happening. Like, right. Oh, you're, you're, right. You're listening to everything I do to this thing, so I'm not really going to do much, and I'll let you play with it now. It's your turn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tag team on the computer. Yeah. Yeah, your turn. <laughs> Why was that funny? <laughs> I have no it's, idea. it's a little funny. It is kind of funny. Yeah, it is kind of funny. She's really giggly. <clears throat> tonight? She's very yeah. giggly tonight. I know. Um, it must be the glass blowing. Well, yeah, I just came from a meeting. <laughs> I said glass, not ass. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> no, I just came from a meeting, and we were at the cigar bar downtown. So. Yeah, that'll make you giggly. A couple of Johnny Walkers and a cigar later. Yeah, okay. Everything's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Even Justin's jokes. <laughs> I'm always uh, laughing, whatever. That's true, you are. I can't help it. Um, so what, uh, what shows have you been doing around town? Do you, are you doing any weeklies or monthlies right now? Uh, right now we're on a, it's like a bi-monthly, I guess that's like every two weeks, like every other week. Uh, we've got the Turned Up Thursdays at the Yeti. Okay. Um, right now, um, my friend Susan and I have been working on, uh, we've got a monthly um, at uh, Sixth Street Entry. Starting uh, February 28th. Okay, and cool. Right now we're booked out through to May. Um, so we've got the next few months for that. Um, I got, um, I guess, uh, uh, Skankin and I, we're going, I think we're going to Fayetteville here in April. I'm not really sure if that's working or not. But uh, the weekly thing we've been doing is Turned Up Thursdays for, like I said, about a year and a half. Well, I've been with them for about a year and a half. I think they were doing it a little bit longer. Okay. Um, Who else is a part of that? It's uh, Eli Stevens and uh, Brad Benham. Or it's, uh, Eli is a dead boy and uh, Brad's a noisemaker and uh, myself. Uh, we're the residents. Uh, like every week we have like, a, or every other week now, we've got, uh, you know, some other guests <laughs> here and there. But, uh, you know, it turns out, you know, it's like we're there, you know. I'm going to break this glass. So no, it's okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that. Um and so is that just like uh, all different kinds? Yeah. Um, and you know, we get, we've got jungle. There's like some just regular like club EDM trap music, uh, some house music. Um, Eli's pretty good um, at like uh, going across the genres. You know, he, he's got the, you know, he'll go from some jungle and then into trap, which like 
everybody in the world but me apparently seems to like trap and you know um, what I mean? no. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I, I don't want to no, I mean you know and like I said you know to each your own like I was speaking with um you know the the, the guy who mostly does trap up there in noise mecca uh Brad and uh you know, I, I give him shit, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I do, but like, I really don't mean to. And like the other day I was talking to him, I was like, man, you know, and he was like, you know, that's just what I like. And someone else was telling me, like, you need to play drum and bass. And I was like, had this kind of flashback where it was like, you know, where people were telling me that not to play drum and bass because, right, you know, whatever. And I'm like, man, he, he does what he does and he's good at what he does. So, you know, let him do that. That's what he wants to do. I can't, you know. Yeah. So to each their own, of course, you know. So um, I've uh, kind of just learned to accept that a lot more lately. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's what you know we talk about here all the time is we try not to trash right. any genre. I mean, if there's an audience for every genre. Right. There's people that think it's awesome, and you should never take away from that. Um, but trap is definitely something that we haven't really understood. And, right. you know, we had Foxy in at one time and just being like, okay, so explain oh, it yeah. to us. Like, why do you like this? And just, you know, hearing his explanation and how it kind of like, I don't know, connected with his past and, yeah. you know, his growing up and, you know, the roots for him and you know, how he connected to it. It just kind of made sense. Right. It, it may didn't. have been the first way I've ever understood what it meant. <laughs> the way he explained it. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, yeah. I mean, Maybe I need myself. to speak with him about this yeah. and find out. Because like I said, I'm not trying to bash it. I mean, I, I kind of, you know, I'll give people a hard time yeah. occasionally. But like I said, you know, it's... I'm a real smart ass and I'm kind of just like, a, if I'm a, if I'm, if I'm a jerk to you, dude, then like, we're good, you know, right, <laughs> not yeah. a jerk, but you know, just right. like, um, but, uh, I've also, you know, it's just time to like back, you know, because you know what, that doesn't do anything. I'm, I'm focused on what I do and let them focus on what they do and right. we all make something and it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, we have to have d different styles. Yeah. I mean, we can't just have one style and say, this oh, is God, what's be, great. It and would be the most. That would suck. Boring. Yeah. Yeah, you got to have so many genres to make a scene to to make something. Well, I mean, I grew up, you know, it was like uh, it was uh, the '80s. My first album was the Beastie Boys, "License to Ill." So there's that, and then it went to hip hop, and then the punk music, you know, the new wave thing, and then it yeah. like went jazz. I mean, I got like all the. It's like I, all music is just a beautiful thing as long mm -hmm. as it makes me feel something, or it's, you know, it's like a great. Uh, thing so to, to limit it to one thing or another is just kind of you're kind of screwing yourself there right? so all so music right. is good except trap is that what you just said <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's exactly oh. how I heard it oh. I, I, I not, that's I exactly what I heard say that. can no. we make a meme of that we'll yes. just take a picture of him let me put that note in my phone okay. <laughs> <laughs> take picture of Frank after podcast Shit. the meme assured yeah. jam it program it yeah. <laughs> meme it as no, long as she'll get it confused trap. that's going to be the meme that comes out it's going to be you it's just going to you know, jam it program it trap it wrong trap it trap it Crap it, crap it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what I said. You can, you can quote me on that. I'll own that quote. <laughs> trap it and crap it. Trap it and crap it. Mm, that's me well. my shirt. <laughs> oh, jeez. There's the guys yeah. who do it, and they do what they do good, so. Uh, yeah. And everybody has their own thing, so. Mm -hmm. nothing, nothing wrong with that. I don't want to start getting a bunch of hate mail from... People who love trap. There's nothing wrong with Again, that. Again, oh, hey, the I email is Justin Brown at podcast. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> do, do Justin you, Brown at baselinepodcast.com if you want to send hate mail. Just, we get oh, mail? Wrong. No. No, that's that not. That's actually a, not even a real address. No, it's not. I know. I, I realize <laughs> that now that I'm saying it. Not, I want someone to send us some hate mail. Okay, then it's Justin oh, okay. Brown. Calling it's all hate meters. Yeah. <laughs> hate. It's actually baseline pod. I, I think I, I think I fucked it up and said hate meters. Hate yeah. meters. I want some hate meters. Yeah. I want some hate meters. The actual email what? is <laughs> <laughs> baseline podcast at gmail dot com. It is. You're welcome. Is I actually knew it. I was. You didn't have to look at your it. notes for that. No, that, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> you had to ask me one time, like you created it. <laughs> yeah, like, I know. I baseline podcast at gmail dot com. Yeah. Send Justin hate mail. He has to check it. I do. Actually, I, I should. I haven't. I don't think in a while. Maybe we, now's the time to pull it up this evening. We'll see what's happening. 
<laughs> it's <probably laughs> just a bunch of shit from Gmail. Do, do <laughs> it's actually a bunch of stuff from Melanie Cheryl at gmail.com. Yeah, right. <laughs> this podcast sucks. <laughs> I don't even know why I listen. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> no. I always ask her, I'm like, do you you know listen to the last week's podcast or the, the other podcast? And she's like, I don't listen to them. I lived them. I don't have to listen to them. Right, why would I play that shit back? I've already lived it live. <laughs> I'm going to listen uh, to the mixes, though. Because I haven't heard those yet. The mixes are great. Yeah. Honestly, but yeah. That's my favorite part. Yeah. Hearing us, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> no. I, I don't ever listen no. to us. I figure it like, sucks. So. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, honestly, I don't because I am doing it. You know, if right, you're right. listening yeah. to us, you're missing the best part. It's the actual mixes. It's the uh, artist mix. <laughs> it's the artist mix. <laughs> And whatever the artist is Just saying, not us, by the way. Hit pause now <laughs> and move forward. Second link. So have you played at 6th Street yet? Um, I haven't played it as 6th Street. I used to play not when it was Sixth Eclipse. Right. 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 Years yeah, ago, so. I, that was a great bar. I loved yeah. Eclipse. I know. It's, but it was uh, It's one of my favorite like rooms and I, I i like it it's just like a small it's like there's your dance floor over there the bar is out of the way yeah mm -hmm. it's very true Great it's venue. a big open yeah. area oh i love know. it yeah yeah it's, you know still small enough to be very intimate you know it's yeah and, and what it, nights are you doing over there again uh right now it's uh we got february 28th uh, and you mentioned your friend <laughs> susan does she play drum and bass also or what, uh no uh, what she's she just like right now she's um well she's an artist um, but she's like uh, really was wanting to get this thing. It's actually her. She she went and talked to the dude and oh really got it set up. And I was like, oh hey, that's pretty cool, you know. So like I guess I'm kind of a part of it. <laughs> like Susan, and I but I guess she's like set up. I don't know what you call it, the promoter. But uh, I guess this is. I mean, she's she's done that kind of thing before in the past. Um, whereas I've never organized anything like this yeah. on my own you know this is uh kind of something new for me but um it's uh you know i'm just kind of trying to do it to just bring uh i want it to be like a jungle like a drum and bass like monthly just once a month um that way you get it like less less saturation you know kind of just make it you know less of it and, Sweet. You know, it's like it's this here once a month like people yeah. will want it oh hey we missed it this month. Right, you know, right. We got to get there. Night, you know, it's like, oh, it's not going to be another month until, you know, or. Well, and that's the thing, too. It's, you know, if you're out there playing every weekend at the same place or whatever, playing the same show every weekend, like, yeah. you know, people may come or they may not. They right. may be like, well, what else is going on? Because right. we could catch it next week. But if you just do something just even once a month, people right. are like, well, we got to go. It's the once a month, you know. I mean, um, doing the weekly, the Turned Up Thursday has actually, like, given me a lot more. Uh, motivation to like you know focus more on this and oh, really? it's giving me like something to look forward to each week because if you know it's like i work and like oh god i gotta work it's like oh but i have this coming up it, you know yeah so, so i mean that's something to look forward to and we all have a good time but you know sometimes it's like um maybe there's a little much but uh we're also like scaled back for the winter to kind of just you know yeah. and uh you know i think like i said it just kind of picks up and it you know, goes away every once in a while, but, uh, are you going to call it drum and bass? No trouble. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you have a mission statement? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was good. Can you please call it that? <laughs> drum and bass, no trouble. <laughs> We we'll have to speak with Susan about that one. You have to wear your trainers to go to that show. <laughs> 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 fucking ruin the podcast <laughs> <laughs> Just, I want it to be called that now I I love that that's funny that is really good yeah <laughs> welcome back Milo yeah <laughs> It's good to be back. <laughs> Great to have you. <laughs> I just I've been working on all these puns since I had a week off. You I know, know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you've been you've been off the mark here for a little bit. Yeah, we usually have our side like you know, I don't know, jokes, humor, whatever we throw in, but Is that what you're calling it? I don't know. I don't think anyone else thinks it's funny, really. <laughs> Except no, us. Laughing. I question well, why yeah. she's laughing sometimes. I'm not even sure why I'm ever laughing. <laughs> <laughs> But that being said, but that's the best part. <laughs> Those that's syllables. why it's funny. <laughs> that syncopation sounds like it probably was meant to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I should laugh now. That, that, that was a good rhythm. <laughs> Insert chuckles. Yeah. <laughs> See, it just. The fuck? Yeah. I don't know. What the hell? I think we lost our minds. So our, our last two yeah. weeks off, we, yeah, we're. I don't know. Is that, is that I, really? I'm blaming you for making me retarded <laughs> <laughs> this week. Uh, you're back. I don't know what happened last week. Uh, Justin, I don't even know what happened to him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't even ask. I was here, but I wasn't. I don't know. It was just one of those one of those days. The lights are on. Nobody's home. Thank God Don was here. He, Thank he, God I was here. Well, Actually, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Well, you and Don carried that episode. I just kind of sat there and stared. I get that a lot. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of that blank stare. I'm listening to everything, but I'm just like, yeah. what do I say? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, trying to come up with questions, and you're just like, hmm. I got nothing. Yeah. It sounds <laughs> like yeah. it. <laughs> no, I always have. I've got, always got questions. All right, shoot. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to say Go that. Go for it. Yeah. Let's see your On the question. Spot? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, right now. Okay. Why do I do this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to ask that. you got to ask a really oh, nice like a, insightful uh, yeah. like digging <laughs> question okay, to, to Frank. To Frank? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Frank, what video games do you like to play? <laughs> <laughs> Cuz that's what I like to talk about. <laughs> so, video games. Thank you. Um, uh Minecraft. <laughs> Mostly Minecraft. No, not really. I like uh all of them. Um, role playing games a lot, mostly. Yeah. Um, Skyrim, Oblivion, the Elder Scrolls games. Uh, I've played that. You like time sucking games. I do. That's a commitment. Skyrim, yeah. that's oh. a huge map that's endless yeah. places. I, oh, no. You, you, you think that's a, a commitment. I mean, if, if oh. you like delve into the Minecraft and you just like, you find that it's like virtual Legos and you're just like, oh, I, I can build and build and build and like, you just want to keep going. And then there's cool. no it's end point, sure. there's nowhere to stop. I mean, there's like an guess, end to seen. the game, but nobody ever really, you know. Just like, why would you end it? Nobody ends. Now, I love Legos, too. So oh, yeah. I've never really <laughs> quite got into Minecraft, though. I mean, I've seen it. I've messed around with it. Oh, no. It's... But then I, once I've ever built a, a place, I can't get out of it. <laughs> this is my what? own private hell I've just built around me and I can't get out of it <laughs> yeah. do you see I'm not joking do you know where I'm coming from with that oh yeah like yeah, where no, do you go next I, I just built Minecraft, all this shit I and I can't like, get out of there are you talking about Minecraft or Legos both <laughs> <laughs> have you been over to my house you lately built, you built yourself into a Lego house and you couldn't get out yes oh, no. we, we have like a triple A for Legos for her <laughs> 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 I built myself in again. I can't get out. Guys, Forgot to put yeah, a knob on yeah. the door. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing you like? The coolest thing you've ever built <laughs> in Minecraft? Uh, the coolest thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I built a. It's it's it's. You know, I'm more proud of like my storage area that i built than any yeah, the like storage massive area? yeah man i built like a big you know you collect know a lot saying. of oh, shit, shit. Oh, okay. so much like rocks and minerals and supplies and so like i built this room to where like i go and i flip a little switch and i yeah you got to go in and you can like lay down this like wiring or whatever it's called redstone and so like i made it to where the lights you like flip on the light and it's like psh, 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 like down the hallway like kind of like you know when they That's open cool. up like a gun vault and like the matrix yeah. or something it's like lights up down the hallway it was kind of cool. And then your you guy know? comes That's out with his sweet. label maker. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I got this. <laughs> yeah. Five dollars. <laughs> I'm into labeling with the thing. I'm I like selling it. Lipton tea. <laughs> you need that. <laughs> Scissors. <laughs> it's <laughs> brown ore. You guys asked me to what, ask what the are question. things that you have? Brown in, ore. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what they have. There's like game. coal and like uh, <laughs> cobblestone and like iron and you know yeah. it's just like diamonds Minerals you know, it's and just whatnot. like uh, blocks of wood mm. like he's doomsday prepping <laughs> yeah totally yeah i mean are you mormon <laughs> <laughs> no but his minecraft character is <laughs> <laughs> i am working on like a it's like an underground minecraft would be in utah wouldn't it yeah, yeah. probably yeah. so yeah. right <laughs> there's this like subterranean forest i'm trying to build like all underground like ecosystem that's and it's, dope yeah then you know then i get bored because is, I'm is like, it going well 
And it's, you know, it's like this little corner of the map, like versus the whole thing. It's like, you know, there's a lot. No, to it. it takes a lot. <laughs> a lot of time and patience and uh, focus, which I don't have. So. I really need to get rid of it. <laughs> Delete it. It's a life sucker. Delete it and move on. No. Yeah. No, no. I mean, it may sting for a minute, but a year from now, I'll probably thank myself, you know. Uh, no, RPGs are like my standard fare. Um, and Zelda. Zelda. I'm the biggest Zelda fan. I love it. Yeah. Um, that's what like got me back into, you know, I went probably 10 years without touching a video game. And then when I was like 21, 22, my buddy let me borrow his, uh, Nintendo 64 with, uh, Ocarina of Time on it. And that was it. Great game. Yeah. And then my uh, brother came home with Grand Theft Auto 3 and I was like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. Mm-hmm. You know, I can go anywhere. It wasn't even that I, I, I didn't really care about, like, the killing the prostitutes or yeah. any of that shit. You know, <laughs> I was just like, oh, I want to go see what's over there down this little alley. It was like this exploration kind of thing. You could never really do that. I mean, I guess Zelda games, like, before even you could kind of do that stuff. But this was, like, completely open. If right. You, yeah. You know. Skyrim's like that, too, though. Yeah, as Skyrim. As far as the, yeah. you can go anywhere you want. Well, the first Elder thing. Scrolls game I played was uh, Morrowind, and it was like they dump you in there, and you're like, okay. They don't tell you, you know. There's no like compass point like uh, Skyrim had. Like at least you could follow where to go. No, in Morrowind, it's like, go. There's your journal, and go figure out Good luck where with that you want to go. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it it was. Uh, I mean, you could get lost. Like, you could actually break the game. You could kill like the wrong person, and it's like, hey, guess what? You cannot beat the game now. There's a little message that pops up that says you have broken the main quest line. It's like, oh. I would have so it just and break the disc in half. Yeah, I just spent like 100 hours getting, oh, I killed a guy, did I? Hmm. <laughs> so what do you do at that point? Do you, do you just you have to restart with the new one? You the disc and break well, it in half in rage, I oh, think. Yeah, sorry, sorry it's that. this preamp okay. that well, does there, that. There is a way that like, I guess there's like a back route to go in and like jerry rig your way back into like the, but it's like some backwards ass way they built into the game and like huh there's like a 50 50 chance of it backfiring and killing you or you know, it's like um but i haven't actually reached that point in the game i uh never went on just a random killing spree because i knew about the bug before i played the game so i'm like oh huh. well i just won't go kill everybody until i've beat the game you know so huh interesting but yeah, I mean, I stopped with like sixty four. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't, I haven't really progressed past that. I mean, I still, I, all I have is the Wii. And I'm well, still the, doing the that. thing that pisses me off the most. Um, I know you're all on, are on the edges <clears throat> of your seat to hear this <laughs> <laughs> right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But actually, I see the release date for the new Zelda game. Of course, it's on 3DS. I'm like, oh, put yeah. it on the fucking Wii. You, you know. The 3DS, is that the, the one handheld? The handheld, yeah. I'm like, quit putting on Zelda games well, for the handheld that they don't put Yeah, but it's on not that, a new know? Zelda game. Well, it's a remake, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. the uh, Majora's Mask. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. even, with, um, yeah. even with the new Smash Brothers, though, they put it on 3DS first, and then, or on DS or something first, and then it went to the full system. Finally, yeah. But the, uh, the new Zelda game's coming out soon, right? But it's for the 3DS. No, there's an, another new I one thought for so Wii too. U. I thought so, too. I don't know. Right? I thought so. I hope so. I heard talk of it. I just don't. I don't know. think it's actually. I expect it'll, yeah. it'll still be know. a little while. They're they're they just always, launching out yeah. titles right now. And they always hold off for a Zelda release when there's a new console coming out, which I think is next year for Nintendo. Jesus, can we could be? I mean, could it be a bigger again? dork? Wow. <laughs> yeah, but yes. That's oh, they just released just, the Wii U, didn't they? Like last 20, year. Or, uh, 2013. Oh wow! So, is it yeah. that, uh, wow. A year or two ago, yeah. The only reason I Probably wanted to Wii years. U is to play the <laughs> Wind Waker HD remake, honestly. That's exactly I, why I own it. Yeah. That's the longest game you'll ever play in your life. That's one of my really? favorite games. Yeah. I love it. It is fun. It's a great game. Hmm. Look what my question spawned all this conversation. Well, that's fine. No, <laughs> I'm just next? like, I'm just enjoying Same. it because I don't know about any of this stuff. So, <laughs> well, it's bad at talking about video games. You know, it's like, yeah. Uh, you know. I do. I could talk about it all night. <laughs> yeah. Some people's friends talk about TV shows, but my friends we talk about, about video, video games. games. Yeah, I'm the one that talks about the TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we know you're lame. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that stare, though. I know, I do too. <laughs> just, just really like, cute, go dude. Talk yourself stare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. What's well, uh, going on here? 
don't know. <laughs> no one ever know. knows. Sometimes Welcome. when we derail, we derail hard. Welcome to the Baseline oh, no, no, no. Podcast. Yeah. We're here with Woo. Frank. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys ready to start this? Yeah. All right, welcome back it. to the Baseline Podcast. This week we have... <laughs> Thanks for coming in. It's great to meet you. It's good to meet you guys. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Thank you for having me. <laughs> so when did you start DJing? Uh, uh, <laughs> yesterday? Yeah. You must be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, you, no. you know, hey, you know, I, don't, I don't mean to boast, but you know. No. You picked it up quick Ooh, then. Quick <laughs> Well, you know. Well, I mean, I asked you to do the podcast on Friday, so you picking yeah. it up yesterday and then coming <laughs> on to the podcast today. I mean, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's oh, so it's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like well, I got nothing else to do this weekend. I guess I'll learn to DJ and yeah, do this right. silly podcast and see what happens. You know? Honestly, yeah. I'd never heard of a turntable until about six hours before I um, came got here today. Yeah, yeah. Um, but impressive. Yeah. <laughs> so, what kind of mix did you bring in? Uh, it's a uh, you know drum and bass. It's uh, it's kind of. Uh, my uh it's like a bipolar mix you know it's like all nice. like manic depressing you know like up and down you know kind of um you know i got some jump up in there a little bit of a liquid drum and bass some tech stuff uh i kind of i don't like to stick to just like one style of uh german bass i think it's all german bass to me you know right. so i try to you know get it all in in the mix you know um kind of just you know i i believe it all goes together so you know it's like it's uh, all needs to go together. So <laughs> that's awesome. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, where can people can people find any of your stuff online? Um, you mix cloud, right now, SoundCloud? I've got a couple of. Uh, I've got. Well, actually, I've only got the one mix right up on SoundCloud. Um, the, honestly, this is the first mix I've like recorded and felt okay with in the past like six months or so. You know, I just uh, it was like you're saying. You know, I don't I don't record them all that much except for myself to listen to. Yeah. Um, you know they're okay for me, but I'm I'm really critical of them. You know, so I'm like I don't I don't want that to be publicly distributed. Yeah, but I'm on uh, SoundCloud. I can't believe it. I think it's uh, actually uh, Frank the Grimy one or something. <laughs> I can't remember what I'll my SoundCloud out. name is. I mean, I've got links. I think I have a link or two on my uh, Facebook page. Okay, um, I'm really bad at self promotion. And really, yeah. bad about it. I was like, yeah, I, I really love to play, but oh man, now I got to like talk to people and be like, yeah, hey, listen to this or that and yeah. the other. But um, so like getting my mixes up there, I do have the one on SoundCloud and um, like I said, I, I've got another one that I uh, brought with me. I guess I'll like uh, get it to you um, however we Right after this? Yeah. Um, <coughs> I... Um, Trying to get some more. Um, I think I even have like one or two of my songs on my SoundCloud that I'd written, you know, just kind of in like an off time, you know, like just some songs like, you know, I was like, oh, hey, this song was kind of cool. I'll throw that up. They're, they're old, but, you know, just some stuff that I actually felt good and was pleased with doing, you know. Yeah, like, yeah this this is actually acceptable. Um, yeah, that's really about it. I uh, had um, a D&B share account, but that thing, I can't remember what it you know, it's gone a long time ago, but, um, I used to have some mixes up there. I have a bunch of old CDs. I've been looking to, uh, you know, upload again, like old mixes I did from like 10 years ago, 10, 15 years ago when I first started. Um, some of them were pretty good. <coughs> kind of like to just have them up there. as like a back catalog or something. Yeah. Just kind of, um, you know, through the ages. Kind of show your progression too. Yeah. And yeah, it'd be really you know, cool. Plus like, you know, the drum and bass has changed over the years so much, like from, you know, when it first started to now, I mean, it's still got those elements and you can tell, um, that it, you know, was drum and bass now, but, um, it's, it's really nice to watch the progression of just the music itself. Um, what are the biggest changes you've seen? Uh, it's sped up a lot. Really? Yeah. Um, the uh it's sped up you know it used to be like way down like like 150 like 160 bpm now like <clears throat> people are producing tracks about like 175 i write at like 180 when i do write german bass even though it never actually comes to fruition i, I still play it at like 180 <laughs> i like it fast you know like the faster beats um there's a lot less of the amen break um yeah that um which kind of, you know, it separates it from like jungle and drum and bass, like more jungle had the more amen breaks and the more kind of like tribally sounds and then drum and bass kind of sticks to that weird kind of like two-step kind of just like a boom, you know, that. 
uh, with variations, but um, there's a lot more focus on the bass now. Um, mm. Jungle, I mean, when it first started, yeah, there was bass there, but, um, you know, I've seen it uh, go, you know, there's kind of like this like pop and bass kind of stuff where it's kind of just like all like really overly produced and stuff. I mean, I see that stuff now. It's kind of gotten popular and it's like, <clears throat> that I can't, can't, can't get with that too much. You know, that's about the only drum and bass I won't play is like, that's, you know, there's like too much going on. Like, it just sounds like every single sound was polished to like perfection. And it just sounds like what I liked about jungle. Like, uh, I had this kind of just raw, like unprocessed sound. It just kind of sounded like it was real low fi like when it first started, you know, just, mm -hmm. uh, you know, underground just kind of had this dark, had a creepy kind of sound yeah. to it. Like it belongs in that little dark room over in the corner, you know, uh, one of the first uh, raves that I went to that had some, uh, had a jungle room. I was in there and I had a couple friends. They were like, they were like you gotta get out of here. These people are fucking weird, Frank. And I'm like, no, I love this. And they're like, no, and they're all trying to drag me out. Cause like, you know, you go in those old jungle heads, they're all like, just, it's, it's dark and there's no like light, you know, there's like maybe a strobe light in there. Yeah. Um, it's like a bad sound system because you know, it's like <laughs> an afterthought. Well, I guess we'll give them a jungle room now, you know? Um, but, uh, you know, so to me, that's, you know, you know, the stuff that I like, you know, whenever it was just kind of just more garage band kind of sound like the garage band of electronic music, you know, or whatever, but well, that's true. Um, anyway, and I didn't even think about it to even brought it up about the all men break. You know, you don't hear that as much anymore and it's not there a whole lot. Yeah. I and mean, sometimes it's, it, it will be there maybe real subtly, but, uh, you know, which is fine. You know, I mean, I, I like the two step, but I definitely love uh -huh. it. That, that was actually the break that, um, I think it, may actually be because i listen to even like old hip-hop like nwa like a lot of the nwa uh, straight out of compton album has that uh either the funky drummer beat yeah <laughs> or, that, or that amen in there is that the tape in your car uh yeah nwa's greatest hits <laughs> I nice. love that. it's in the tape deck yes that's why awesome. i have a tape deck isn't it stuck in it's there stuck My, that's the only thing his car plays. uh in his car i think i could get it i out. thought it would Oh. I think I <laughs> you don't why would you ever want to? It's just been in there for... Don't take that out ever. Ever. I don't why know. Would you? I don't know. <laughs> my last uh, tape deck, <clears throat> I actually ate my straight out of Compton tape that, that I sure. had since like seventh grade. And like this was about a year or so ago. It, it ate the tape and I was like... <laughs> well, see, I thought about taking it out because I do have Public Enemies greatest hits oh, I nice. could put in there too, so... Mm, <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of the... Uh, I mean, I love that. But, right. But also... <laughs> NWA. Uh, yeah, white. It works with the van. It That's does. It's just a thing. It works. Actually, the first concert I went to on my own, when I was 14, and it was uh, when Public Enemy was touring with Anthrax when they did that Bring oh, the Noise. Yeah. I actually went because Primus was opening. <laughs> I wanted to see Primus, but right. I got to see Public Enemy and Anthrax too, and uh, nice. I thought that was cool. So Public Enemy was like also another one of those guys. Hey, I love those guys. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's very true. Why is it though when we're driving in the van and um, <laughs> you know fuck the police comes on, <laughs> uh, there's always a cop that pulls right in front of me when it comes on or right behind me. And it's nice. like I, yeah, it never fails. Be. You remember the last time we were driving around? It came on and all of a sudden the cop pulls up right in front of us and we're yeah. just like, all right, well, like there's that. <laughs> turn it down a little bit. Followed by followed by body now. count by Ice T. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Man, I hadn't heard that one in a while. Actually, the body count that that, that might I may have listened to that on the way home. That's there mm -hmm. you go. So your next show is coming up uh, again. Where's my what next is one? Is uh, next Thursday or did you guys? No, play it's this? not. Yeah, or no, we we played, played this last, last Thursday, Thursday okay. so it'll be um, not next Thursday, but the one after that. I don't know. Let me check out my dates here. <laughs> but then the sixth okay. street you said is February twenty eighth is when it starts. Yeah, February twenty eighth, and then we've got. Um, hold on. What is today? The 18th. So yeah, the 29th will be back at the Yeti for Turned Up Thursday. Then I got February 28th, and then March 28th, April something. Where did it go? Oh, April 18th, and then uh, May 23rd is what we're booked out for those uh, for our monthly at Sixth Street. 
Okay. Cool. And uh, we're looking to get in some more people's, like, you know, um, I got a couple buddies in um, Texas that I'd like to get. Um, there's uh, one guy who played um, a lot of the old Raga Jungle, um, which kind of, you know, the more uh, reggae inspired, like jungle and stuff like that. Um, dude in uh, Amarillo, I'd like to get up here to play. And we're trying to get, you know, we got, um, uh, was it Dome Rekka, uh, which is Ricky Black from Fayetteville, is coming um, for the uh, 28th, the February 28th show. And, uh, you know, we're you know trying to get some other people. Oh yeah, um, uh, Panache one uh, from uh, Oklahoma City is coming for that one too. Cool. And uh, Despise, DJ Despise, which is uh, Brian Mosley. That that's our uh, lineup for the twenty eighth. Nice. Oh, that, that sounds like a yeah. great lineup. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we're hoping to uh, keep that going, um, get this momentum. You know, I mean, it's, I'm I'm pretty excited about it. Um, yeah. And it seems like a lot of people are like, uh, you know, we've got, you know, quite a few people like interested in it so far. So hopefully we can do it. Oh yeah. It's a uh, masquerade theme party. They're doing like a masquerade kind of thing for it. So uh, is there going to be a different theme for each month? Yeah. We're looking at trying to do kind of like a different themes, you know, like, um, um, I know in (laughs) April I was looking like a, you know, I was talking about Raga. I was trying to get like a little bit of the Raga theme going you know it's like okay. and maybe even some old dub i like i like old dub reggae not like the dubstep right i mean i do like some dubstep don't get me wrong but um i like it you know like the dub reggae stuff and we got uh, a couple of people that uh could get in on that um that'd be sweet who that do would i be forget really oh yeah, yeah. sub commander <laughs> bob i'm sorry sub commander bob he's also playing the february 28th show i think he's also going to be he's from oklahoma city he's going to um okay. also be uh Kind of one of our uh, resident guys. Um, yeah, okay. So cool. he'll be there each month. Um, I assume. You got it. Benita, you're coming every month. <laughs> <laughs> now you're committed. There you go. <laughs> it's out there in the cyber world. Yeah. It must be true. It's going to happen. Right. All right. Well, let's wrap this up. Thanks again so much for coming in and Thank sitting down with us crazy ass fuckers. But Very much. Yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I, uh, you know, just didn't thank you guys for having me. It was one of those things, you know, so yeah, kind of a new thing for me. So pleasure to have you. Thanks for coming.